Not only do we see the failure to protect one of the three branches of our government, we also saw a clear failure to carry out equal justice. If you used to say in the Senate, excuse a point of personal privilege. A little over an hour and a half after the chaos started, I got a text from my granddaughter, Finnegan Biden, who's a senior in her last semester at the University of Pennsylvania. She sent me a photo of military people in full military gear, scores of them lining the steps of the Lincoln Memorial because of protests by Black Lives Matter. She said, Pop, this isn't fair. No one can tell me that if had been a group of Black Lives Matter protesting yesterday, there wouldn't have been, they wouldn't have been treated very, very differently than the mob of thugs that stormed the Capitol. We all, we all know that's true. And it is unacceptable, totally unacceptable. The American people saw it in plain view. And I hope it sensitized them to what we have to do. Not many people know it. When Justice Garland and I were talking, we talked about, I think he raised it, the reason for the Justice Department was formed in the first place. It was back in 1870. We didn't have a Justice Department before that, the Cabinet. It was formed in 1870 to enforce the Civil Rights Amendment that grew out of the Civil War, the 13th, 14th, and 15th Amendments to stand up to the Klan, to stand up to racism, to take on domestic terrorism. This original spirit must again guide and animate its work. So as we stand here today, we do so in the wake of yesterday's events, events that could not more have vividly demonstrated some of the most important work we have to do in this nation committing ourselves to the rule of law in this nation, invigorating our domestic and democratic institutions, carrying out equal justice under the law in America. There is no more important place for us to do this work than the Department of Justice. I want to be clear to those who lead this department who you will serve. You won't work for me. You are not the president or the vice president's lawyer. Your loyalty is not to me. It's to the law, the Constitution, the people of this nation to guarantee justice.